Flabba. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it is, man. Flabber, new-ish. Yeah. So tell me, dog, like a lot of cats are feeling it. Facebook, Twitter, they're going wild right now. Uh, and I was just thinking to myself, like, when a, what defines a dope MC, in your opinion? What defines a dope MC? Yeah. Hey, man, like, I think, first and foremost, you gotta be unique. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta have your own style. And wordplay is very important as well. Yeah. You know? So is rhyming yeah. <laughs> at the end of each line. For real, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> go on, go yeah. on. I don't want to disturb you. Uh, go on. Um, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what else. I mean, I, I guess for me it's just talent and, you know. Who's your favorite rapper right now? And I know it changes the age. Like, when you're younger, you probably like somebody, and now it's probably somebody else. No, it, it, it doesn't really for me, you know. Like, my all-time, i I got five favorite rappers. Drop them and tell me the reasons. It's uh, it's Eminem. Okay. I think is the realest rapper. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He talks about his own issues surrounding him as a white guy. Yeah. Uh, that lives in a trailer park. Um, Red Man. Yeah. Because of that comedy ish. Uh, Luda. Yeah. Same thing. You know, he's, he's got that comedy feel too. Uh, Jay Z is just is just is just the boss man. You know? Yeah. Uh, and um, Snoop Dogg. Because he's gangster. Alright, damn, that's not a bad top five at all, actually. Yeah, Alright, so, judging from that, together, excuse me, I imagine the art form is very important to you. Like, you mentioned the fact that you've got to rhyme at the end of the line. Like, <laughs> I'm from the old school where, like, now guys will go three, four lines without making anything rhyme, dog. Not yeah. even words corresponding in this. Yeah. I'm like, how is this still rap? <laughs> But maybe we're missing it. Maybe that's a new school. I you know? know? I doubt it. Maybe <laughs> that's a new school. I don't know. Like, no, you got to rhyme, man. You got to make sense and rhyme at the same time, which is a bit difficult. It's a bit tricky for other people, let us say. Would you ever sign any rapper? Of course I would. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I when I'm when I become big and you know rich and own a big ass record company, yep. I'd sign rappers. You know. Sign and, rappers. and then what would, what would the objective be? Like, what do you think the game's missing in terms of supporting local talent these days? What what don't they do for artists? Um, I think corporates are not as involved as uh, I would like them to be. Yeah. You know, um, getting those sync deals, you know, giving cats like two mil, three mil, you know. Yeah. Um, no, but then will cats make the two mil or three mil back? That's a question. Look, man. I mean, if a corporate if, if a corporate company approaches you and says, "Yo, Jabba, we want you to, you know, endorse Vodacom." Yeah. You no, know, Bossa Gaman is a huge song. Yeah. So there's no mistake there. They are gonna make the money back. I yeah. Mean, I mean, they got a lot of money anyway, so you know. <laughs> it's just part of the CSI project. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Charge it to the game and keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but cats will make money. You know, we will make money for for corporates if you know if we give them the chance. But cats must also know that you mustn't make garbage music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because not you know not even hey, not even Kno is gonna mess with your garbage music, you know what I'm saying? So now okay, <laughs> tell me what is your advice to a young dude out there, uh, who's chilling, obviously trying to get into a game. We get like a lot of aspiring rappers that come through here, yeah. they rap, you're probably gonna hear them later on as well. Yeah. What's your advice to? What should they look out for? And uh, what should they press on hardest? I, I've noticed something. I've noticed that a lot of cats are, are trying to be another, I, I don't know, are, are, are trying to give birth to another pro kid. Yeah. Uh, it can only be one, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, don't try to imitate, you know, pro because pro number punchline, you shy, you know, every performance he does is, yeah. is killer. You know what I'm saying? It's got nothing to do with that. Be yourself first. And, I think you must also you must also understand that with whatever career comes a lot of hard work. You know, um, it doesn't mean manje mo I'm getting it out my hot nine at nine. Uh, no, you can just fall back and you relax. Yeah. No, no, no. It's 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 a lot of work. Like, That's actually the beginning. Yeah, if anything. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta distribute music to other radio stations as well, other other provinces as well. You know, who's gonna do that for you if you chilling? You know what I'm saying? It's and also got to understand that it's, 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 it's a business, it's not a, it's not a hobby anymore, you know. Like, I, I don't rap for my friends anymore, like, I rap to make a living, and I do. And it's, the good thing is that I'm doing what I love. Now that's a very good point as well, because yeah. there's different aspects to it, man. Like, for instance, when you come to 
Let's say you're in a cypher. Yeah. In a cypher, you're not going to drop song format verses, if yeah. anything. You know, yeah. you're going to drop the verse that make news go, oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, when that's you're trying it. to get onto radio, forget all that. Yeah. Now it's a totally different discipline yeah. that you need, you, you know? Make the song. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's what I think cats need to understand. Like, you mustn't get the two mixed together. Yeah. Because uh, even guys that do go professional, like Eminem is a good example, I always think. Because Eminem can go really gully with it. Yeah. And be like, take it back to the streets, and you yeah. never think he's signed and making yeah. millions. And then he can also go like really, really commercial with it. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it works. Uh, and I think that for me, the one rapper that comes out in the essay and is able to do that flawlessly, yeah. that guy will thrive. And you mentioned the pro, like, I've always felt, especially for the last maybe six years now, yeah. Uti, the Kasi rappers were trying to emulate him, homie. So, like, they were trying to emulate him so much. Yeah. Like, every verse. It only became, I guess, slightly different for me when the guys like Oh Zawa came out. The guys from KZN were yeah. sounding very different. Yeah. You know, even though yeah. they were rapping in Vanek, at least they were sounding very different from yeah. what Oh Look Who's or oh, oh, Pro and them True. were sounding. True, man. Um, so, yeah, look, the game's got a long distance to go. It a long has, distance to it go. It has, unfortunately, it has. I mean, we haven't reached uh, your state that's all not going to I'm not sure you didn't, we'll even reach that. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, those dudes are killing it, you know? I want to speak about awards <laughs> when we come back, but I've actually got this WHP track we're speaking about. It's coming up next, Bosso.